All right, guys, we'll go back to the first update on Invest 91P, which actually has a really good chance of forming um, in the South Pacific Ocean, potentially a threat for the uh, Vanuatu Islands or the very southern Vanuatu Islands. Um, as you can see on the satellite imagery currently, um, conviction is okay. Lower level rotation is really good. Um, upper level is a bit more questionable, but it's definitely looking like a bit of like a bubble bath at the minute with loads of convection spewing out of the convective cloud top and yeah currently the winds are pretty powerful in those cloud tops currently i'm giving it maximum sustained winds of 35 miles per hour that is 30 knots gusting with winds of 45 miles per hour a pressure of 1006 millibars it is moving east at around seven miles per hour and this is a level two on my wind gust scale as of this latest update brought to you by curtis simplified uh, so let's take a look at the estimates here the atcf forecast system going with 25 miles per hour the jtwc 25 miles per hour as well Curtis simplified analysis at 35 miles per hour but keep in mind the jt WC and ATCF forecast systems only measure the intensity of the center of the storm. Um, they do not. Um, uh, they do not. Uh, do like the convective cloud tops around the storm they only do the center so currently in those convective cloud tops we're likely seeing winds of around 35 to maybe 40 miles per hour um take a look at the uh, gfs ensembles and we could see look at those tracks there every single one of them has this becoming a tropical cyclone so it has a really good shot of becoming a tropical cyclone you can see that threat for the southern vanuatu islands there um it will go right through there potentially making a landfall and then it will continue going south and probably die off but very certain track we're seeing as well the track is looking very very certain from uh 91p uh take a look at the gfs uh, 10 meter wind run here we can see those purples start to pop up those are hurricane force winds um when you see those purples starting to pop up and that is a pretty powerful storm system. Um, it looks like the max winds the GFS has it at is 70 knots. So that is a pretty powerful storm system. And that would be pretty powerful wind gusts um, as well. The wind gusts probably getting up to around 95 miles per hour in that storm system. But on the GFS model, we can see it potentially makes a landfall on one of those southern Vanuatu islands. Um, while really getting itself nicely organized. You can see that really gets itself together very quickly. And it forms around the 17th, continues going down and boom, landfall. But then it is expected to weaken, and this is over the next three days. Uh, take a look at the visible uh, imagery here. This isn't shortwave R. This is actually visible imagery. Um, and we can see that lower level rotation is looking very good in the storm. It is really good for an invest, mind you. Um, upper level rotation, there's hardly none. I wouldn't be surprised if the centers at the minute are displaced. Um, it definitely isn't very organized whatsoever. The lower level rotation, though, like I said, very good. Um, we've got some good um, spewing convection. The convection is obviously hitting the tropophores because we can see those wavy type cloud formations. And it's really just a convective bubble bath, really. It's just not really trying to organize at the minute. It looks like it's definitely going to get a go, get going, though, sorry. And it looks like it will be forming into the next tropical cyclone of the South Pacific season. I'm not entirely sure what the name is, but all I know is the first name was Hail. Uh, take a look at the True Color Zoomed Out imagery here. And we could see it looks like there may actually be potentially two centers for the storm, it uh, looks like one of them will become the dominant one, and that may actually influence the track of the storm. We can see two convective uh, bubbles there, and one of them may decide to become the dominant one, uh, but we really do not know yet. This invest has literally formed just today. Um, but yeah, like I said, very good chance of forming. We're likely going to be seeing the next tropical cyclone of the season, and it could affect uh, some of the Vanuatu Islands. Anyway, thank you for watching this update on Invest 91P. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next update. Peace out.